Hello, my friends. I am hoping that we are live now. I just put on some chill out music in the background here. Uh, we are going to chat first about our goals, your goals, my goals, plans and dreams for 2022. Because I haven't felt this excited uh, for a new year in several years, actually. Because I haven't some news and announcements for my own creative journey and i would love to hear from you guys as well in the chat so please uh, announce yourself like uh, introduce yourself in the chat and let's have some fun and hang out uh, by the way this is my second stream with my new setup the last stream i did just before christmas and um, well uh, something went wrong technically so uh, it basically froze the stream I am hoping that I have solved it now but I cannot say for sure um, until we test this stream like if something happens with the audio with the video just let me know in the comments as well how is uh, the audio uh, level on my uh, microphone is it good i can increase or decrease it over here on my mixing console and i mean um, let me just uh, increase uh, the volume to the max on uh, this background music so you can hear what it can sound like so be prepared for a loud music here okay now can you still hear me even if i have the music at max Let's put it back at the chill out level again. Uh, hello, my, my country is in the northern type of parts of the world, Sweden actually. And it's actually snow outside here now, but it has been kind of a warm winter. So, um, what country are you from by the way? So let's see if I can uh, pull up the screen at the same time. Uh, I want to keep that in the background. Let's see here. I'm going to put my Instagram page here up on the screen. Can you still see me now? <laughs> I have... I'm learning the broadcasting software. I'm not using OBS. I'm using another type uh, of software called Wirecast Studio but it's basically similar it's supposed to be better I paid a lot of money for it so I hope it is I can do lots of stuff in here but it's really complicated and confusing uh, when you're new to it um, okay so one of my goals is to actually focus more on short-term content like uh, vlogs behind the scenes and um, for example the Instagram you see here is I haven't been on Instagram since like 2017 and I felt like well why not try this year because I'm going to do also uh, short term content even on YouTube which has the stories feature and these um, YouTube shorts I believe they are called which are maximum one minute videos shoot vertically so that is something I'm going to introduce more in 2022 um, and like Instagram reels and I, I'm still learning this I haven't used Instagram hardly at all so I'm actually mm, I'm, a, I'm still a bit confused by how it works in action uh, can you still can you hear the mu background music by the way I, I'm not sure what you are hearing now Oh, by the way, I have my coffee ready here because this is going to be a longer stream. I'm going to work on my new master template in Logic Pro. So we'll see the process where I create that. In this, uh, today I'm going to focus on the drums and percussion instruments in that template. Cheers. Okay, uh, in fact, let's just dive in while you guys are joining here. Please chat in the hangout in the chat, ask questions and uh, let me know what your goals are for this year. Okay, so I already started working here on uh, this mega template. 
as you can see I have one folder here called percussion and another called effects these are just uh, temporary tracks a sampler and like a piano for if I get bored and want to play some so if we just dive in here let me take another coffee sip so what I decided to do is because this is going to be a master template with all my uh, favorite instruments at for each instrument types so all my favorite sample libraries and plugins so the first one is a subfolder this is actually a summing bus all these are summing buses uh, nested into this big folder called percussion so all my favorite percussion will be in here so what did I start with well drum kits so I loaded up all my favorite drum kits here, the, my favorite electronic, may, I mainly do cinematic music, so most of the drums and percussion here are in the orchestral and cinematic and epic domain. But I still have, uh, for example, let's load the first one here, like this, which is Stylus RMX. It's old, but I still love it for, you know, all types of, um, electronic drums and experimental sound design percussion that's the first let's load up the next one uh, i have two acoustic drums here the first one is addictive drums 2 where i have loaded up the studio rock preset really nice uh, acoustic drum set plugin uh, the next one is a very big uh, acoustic drum set the drum kit plugin where you can you know uh, load up various modules it's called superior drummer this is version 3 I love the interface of this you can actually drag drag it out I believe yeah like this to cover the entire screen if you want to more plugin manufacturers should really do this so you scale the interface as you want it to be uh, let me change the title like so in the broadcasting software let's kickstart 2022 master DW template All right so this is a superior drummer okay shall I turn off the background music well while we chat or because then it will be completely silent um, the next one is actually also an acoustic drum kit or drum set but it, uh, it is recorded in as like an ensemble I believe like uh, the kick drum is actually I think three kick drums hit at the same time which gives this massive sound I think I, I think I should stop the YouTube background music for now uh, so it sounds like this as you can hear very 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 epic hard sound here because of this ensemble mode and you got a different types of mixes here and by the way as you can see whenever I can with the with contact instruments I use complete as a wrapper this uh, complete engine works well with you cannot see it here but I have the complete uh, control MIDI keyboard from native instruments as well so you can see the light guide here for the mapping and so on so that is the next one. Uh, okay, so RMX for electronic drums, addictive drums, and superior drummer for classic acoustic drum kits. Medusa for uh, uh, more hardcore metal epic type uh, acoustic drums. Then we get into the orchestral drum kits. The, the main one is called Orchestral Percussion SDX, and it is actually an expansion to Superior Drummer. So if I bring this bigger, you can see they include all the main orchestral percussion. You can see the bass drums, the timpanis, sad drums, toms, various cymbals, taiko drums, which is now a part of like the standard cinematic percussion. Not perhaps standard in, or in an orchestra, but really used much, much by Hans Zimmer and all these modern scores. Get the uh, tubular bells, the thunder plate, 
Tam Tam and a gong and a few small weird uh, gong type instruments. So that is an amazing uh, all-in-one orchestral percussion plugin. It also comes with this uh, extra auxiliary orchestral percussion, which are not as common, but they are still used. So you ha here you have some um, smaller type percussion, some shakers, shimmery type percussion. I mean, the smaller percussion parts that can fill up the higher ranges, basically. It is is what this focuses on. Let's close that. And next one. This is my favorite epic percussion, cinematic percussion plugin. It's called Damage 2. And it is really amazing. <laughs> I mean, if you, if, if you want one single or uh, cinematic percussion plugin, <laughs> go for damage too. I, I promise you won't be disappointed. Then I actually have a, one, uh, a classic percussion plugin, orchestral percussion plugin, which has made a comeback with a new update here in um, a month ago. It's called True Strike by Project Sam. And... It includes a new interface where you can actually load with this library instead of using the contact um, browser. So here you can load up timpanis, suspended cymbals, snare drums, all organized well here. You can layer it, mix it. So these are hard tutti hits. That is True Strike. Um, Probably my main orchestral percussion, like, like natural sounding. Damage 2 is more epic sounding, True Strike is more natural. Okay, not as hyped. Then we get into Action Strikes. This library is very misunderstood because you, you might think it's about the presets like this. If I just hold one key, it's like program different sequences. I don't use it as that, because it has two keys here on the MIDI keyboard, which you can hit and play yourself. So you, I loaded up Taiko Massive Ensemble. Wow, I mean, and I like this uh, because it has a great uh, browser for instruments here. So you can go from Taiko Ensemble to low section, Big Boom Ensemble, here preview. Press the arrow to go to the next one. Taiko full ensemble. We will retest that. Taiko huge ensemble. Ensemble. And giant drums. Welcome Solomon from South Africa. I have a, a, a good f a friend in South Africa actually. Who is also a, a music instructor, teacher and composer. It's the same time zone as Sweden. In case you didn't know. Because you are there at the southern parts and I am up at the northern but we are still on the same uh, time zone line. Thomas, welcome. Norway, well, welcome neighbor. So, um, okay, so action strikes I mainly use for, well, I actually use the low percussion here mainly for adding those accents. So let's say I have True Strike playing an orchestral bass drum and then I add a type of massive ensemble in action strike and li like ba, da, da, ba, da, da. imagine that I hum the uh, orchestral bass drum da, 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 da. so those accents I layer often with action strikes uh, other than that you can also of course use the it includes some flams and fast rolls that can you can add yourself you don't have to use the the preset uh, loops. Uh, then I have two libraries from, I think they are called In Shimmer Ses In Session Audio. And the first one is called Taiko Creator. Uh, they have a series like Taiko Creator, S Dramatic Creator, and World Percussion Creator, I think the new one is called. And what's great about this is that you can create your own groups of instruments uh, based, in this case, on the taiko and daiko uh, ensemble, er, percussion sets. 
What I like this for is that it has that dramatic fast pace for action sequences. Um, you get this. And it's not only the lowest here, you get into the higher, you get the stick hits. Um, really, um, I appreciate your library, uh, I believe, um, Taiko Creator, and that takes us to the final drum kit that I have added in my master <laughs> percussion template, which is called Dramatic Creator by the same uh, company. Load up, please. There we have it. And it's basically similar. The en engine is the same. So here you can you can customize it with EQ, drive, width, re in reverb, um, microphone positions, and so on. But both the, of these Tycho Creator and Dramatic Creator, I mainly use as auxiliary, like mid percussion, not the lowest or not the shimmery high end, but more that mid range, which is, which can be great for the dramatic action and energy uh, in your compositions. Okay, so um, those are my favorite drum kits. Okay, so once again, let's uh, recap here. We have the master folder with all my favorite percussion instruments in all styles and then the all styles are separate summing buses or group channels here where I start with the drum kits which I just went through styles for mix, addictive drums, superior drummer, uh, well you can see all these then I go into the individual types of percussion instruments so first the bass drums so let's open up that and let's look at all my personal favorite bass drum uh, sounds that I have added so far in my template I might add more later the first one is actually, so I wanted to have also here electronic, acoustic, and then orchestral cinematic. The first one is Styles I, I like it. I hope they update the interface, but I still like this. So for electronic sounds, I mean, and then if you use kit here, just click here, go to the next one. Okay. Uh, which one? Which? Which one did I choose first? Let's go with that one. Okay, so that is Styles or Mix again. I start with that one. Then uh, the bass drum here. Why did I, didn't I use acoustic addictive drums? Um, well, the next one is actually an acoustic bass drum. So, as you can see here, I have the uh, Superior Drummer 3 and then I just removed all other instruments except the bass drum, the kick drum. This is fairly low in the mix by the way but uh, even if you don't use it or compose or produce you know pop music rock music I can still use an acoustic classic acoustic kick drum like this uh, as a layer on top of for example an orchestral bass drum because it has that snap and crispiness to it it's more clean it doesn't get drowned in too much uh, reverb the next one is uh, Medusa Again, same one as I had in the drum kits, but only for the drums. The bass drum. Then we get to True Strike. Let's try out that one. The Grand Casa, which is bass drum in the orchestra. Uh, bass drum in Superior Drummers orchestral percussion SDX. Again, as you can see, I removed all other instruments except the bass drum. I really like this one because here I can actually right click and choose different hard beater, medium beater sticks. So hard beater has more attack, medium beater, soft beater. dials back and pushes it more back in the mix. So that is really nice. If we close that, and I, by the way, a tip in Logic, I always hold down the Option key or Alt key and then left click here on the on-off buttons to remove it from RAM. So that is just a bonus tip for you guys. The next one is the bass drum in um, Spitfire Audio's BBC Symphony Orchestra. Let's see, so just load up the percussion untuned and choose the bass drum one. 
I have the core version, so I don't have all the mix position or microphone positions. So it's a bit, uh, a bit too wet, uh, in uh, my opinion. I would have liked to add some more close mic. Perhaps I get professional versions later. Then I have uh, one of my favorite sample library developers, Stress of Sampling, have made a series called X3M, and this is the Orchestral Percussion X3M, where you can just load up the zones here, you can create your own percussion uh, kit, basically. So here I loaded the bass drum, and you have 36, or 22, 28, 32, 36, and 40-inch bass drum. So it's just to compare 40, 28, 32. Let's, where did I put it? Oh, I believe I, I believe I have, have it on. Which am I triggering? Which zone am I triggering? Here, this is the first zone. So that is now that you have four different bass drums to choose from in this uh, library. Okay. That is. Let's let's see. Did I? Where is C1? I want to C1. C1 or C2, depending on the MIDI note stand that you use. Okay, so let's clear the... the I have it on zone 3 here. Uh, that's just something I do because I have a bit of OCD. I want the bass drum, if I can, to be mapped to C1. Um, basically, the C2 octaves below middle C. It depends if you call middle C, C3 or C4. But anyway, I want it here on the lowest key on my 49 key MIDI keyboard. Because then I can just shift out the... So this is a bonus tip again, I guess. If I just try it on this drum and then change it to that, I can drag and drop the MIDI. If it's mapped to the same key, that it makes it so much easier. Okay. So that is the bass drum parts. Then I have an other section for the deep drums here. Uh, what are deep drums? Well, this is all more the epic drums that are still not cl classic kick drum or orchestral bass drum. So the first one here is again uh, Action Strikes. Right? So often I use the deep drums in combination with the bass drums to, you know, make a groove where I have the accents uh, or the main core groove on one and then I add the accents on the other or create some, you know, interesting patterns like that. Whoops. Uh, then, I mean, Damage 2 is probably the best for these types of deep drums. It has so many presets. If I just open up, open up the snapshot browser here in Contact, you can see so much Monster Ensemble. Uh, I have the Armageddon patch by default. Sometimes uh, damage can be a bit over the top uh, in, if you want to, you know, push the percussion back in the mix. It mm, it might not be the best choice. So it depends on what type of music you compose at the moment. But it's still <laughs> it's still my favorite to be honest. Damage too. Then we get to X3M Essentials, again another library from Stress of Sampling. And here they have lots of low ensembles. Uh, it sounds like this. I have it on zone 3 because again I want it here mapped to C1. This key here. Let's try another one, Juggernaut. Hello Thomas, yeah, it's great. Yeah, I love that too, to mix uh, drums from different, you know, sound worlds or even parts of the world. Taiko drums are, for example, classic, more Japanese style drum. So you can see lots of various uh, low, they call it low ensembles. I just call all of these part of the deep drums um, summing stack here or bus. Then uh, of course uh, with orchestral music you often need that 
timpani, which is basically a tuned massive drum that looks like kind of like a like a kettle, massive kettle, which is why it's often called a kettle drum. But its uh, official name is a timpani. And then you can play things like... I thought you could play something. Where where are you mapped? Where are you mapped? I'm not sure why I don't hear a sound. Oh, here, hit. I had it mapped on like a roll or something. Yeah, orchestral classic rock kit electronic. Yeah, I, I actually often do that. So even if I do an orchestral track, I often layer, for example, world percussion, hand percussion, ethnic percussion, and sometimes even a, a, a rock kit just on top. You can hear it. Uh, one of my favorites for this style of percussion is uh, Brian Tyler, who's a, one of my favorite composers who did like uh, uh, Thor. Uh, the second Thor movie in the Avengers uh, had a really cool sound, in my opinion. Uh, he often plays, he even plays the acoustic drum kit himself, I believe. So that's the timpani from True Strike, an old library. It still sounds amazing, and it's so easy to use. The next one I have is uh, from BBC Symphony Orchestra. I actually am lacking in good timpani libraries, so if you have a suggestion, uh, add it in the comments. So this is timpani in where are you do i have it on the right this is the bad part with percussion libraries you never know where the thing is mapped i mean bbc symphony orchestra let's see oh yeah and also this is oh this is the bu bug from uh, because I have to write it in Rosetta mode because I have the new MacBook Pro M1 chip. Timpani is pauker på norsk. Yeah, okay. I had no idea. <laughs> now, now I learned some Norwegian, I guess. But th that's interesting that it's called pauker. Pa pauker because uh, in Swedish, the uh, let's see if I say thing. I'm not a drummer myself, but I think... Uh, a tom, tom, the tom dra uh, uh, drums in a classic drum kit is called pukor, puka in Swedish. Uh, look it up, I'm not 100% sure, but I, th I believe it is called that. As I said, I'm not a, a drummer myself. I love percussion though, because who doesn't love hard slamming, driving, energetic percussion? Okay, so then I have actually a group here in my percussion template called... I call it mid-percussion, because I I realized I would have gone uh, gotten to an insane amount of uh, subgroups if I had, like, one for, let's say, bongo drums, one for djembes and, you know, everything. So I just came up with mid-percussion as, like, a standard way to put all those mid-range focused percussion here. So I ha here I actually have Damage 1, which is still a great library, even though Damage 2 is better interface and so on. And I just loaded up the ethnic drums here, so I can play... You know, that is a great way of adding... Because drums are not only about that... Uh, if you think think about cinematic music, orchestral music, for example, it's not only about those big taiko drums and massive deep bass drums. If you want energy, this is the zone. Okay, so that is damage one. Then I have, of course, a similar type in damage two, which is, a, in my opinion, a much better interface. So here, I need some coffee. I'm Swedish after all, we drink lots of coffee here. So here we have Damage 2, where I've loaded up another ethnic palette menu. I can click here to see the routing. As I said, if you want that energy, uh, the mid-range is the place. Let's see, then, uh, True Strike. So you can see, you can already see which my favorite brands are sampled 
uh, library developers because I use them over and over in different categories of instruments. Here I have True Strike, Congas. So I, this is just a default like placeholder if I want to change it out. Just go here. Uh, let's see. Let's say wood. Some wood blocks, perhaps. Uh, small percussion. Uh, but but I'll, I, we will get to those actually in another uh, folder here. So let's just try out. Let's X that out the congas. Okay, so as you can hear, it, it doesn't take up too much room in the mix, but it still adds a lot of energy. Then Taiko Creator and Dramatic Creator. Let's load up both of those. Don't die on me, computer. Uh, like that, Taiko Creator. Great for this stuff. Uh, just don't play the lowest Taikos. If you keep it in the middle... Yeah, sounding really nice and it stacks up very well with the low percussion. Uh, for the main, the core groove. Then Dramatic Creator, similar again. Let's see. Why doesn't it load? Load! I have, uh, I have actually mapped F1, the key on my keyboard here, to open and close uh, plug-in window. So if I press F1, close, open. So clo close or open the actual, actual plug-in, except you can press V to hide and show, but sometimes you just want to close it completely. Okay, so the Dramatic Creator, similar to Taika Creator. But more, more standard percussion, you hear some hi-hats, here some snares. So more mix of more normal percussion instruments, while Taikos is basically only Taikos, Shime Daikos, uh, all this Japanese style. Um, Percussion. Let's see, why doesn't it close? Close like that. Uh, then Jembes. Actually, uh, this library I got recently. Let's see, Solomon. Congas, we use them more on our signature sound called Ama, Ama Piano. Okay. Um, Ama Piano. I don't know what. Is that like your. Is that your like band name, artist name? Or. Uh, Congas are really nice for that, you know, ethnic world, mid-range type of sound, bongos. I actually love uh, African percussion for that. So here we have, uh, yeah, another African percussion, the djembe. I'm considering actually buying one here to have in the back to play myself. Because you, ha you can have it like on your knees or, in your, you know, between your knees here and then sit and, and play. It's a hand drum. So here I have actually loaded up some mid X center. You can have some low side. High. But I would still consider all this mid range. Let's close that. And the final one I have in my template for the mid uh, percussion is X3M, where I just put it on zone 5 and took some ethnic ensembles, sounding like this. Oh, this is a very tight, almost like stomp type sound. I believe it, it might actually be stomps. It says Urban Warriors ST, could stand for stomp. Jungle Chase. I mean, imagine this on top of some, you know, standard orchestral percussion or cinematic percussion. All these types of mid... It's like stick kits, but with some meat to them. Okay, uh, Mumbai Chase. I like that these are more focused, like not way in the back, but... Actually, it's kind of up front. Let's leave it that that setting for now. Uh, so those are all my mid-range percussion. If you have any other favorite um, 
percussion libraries, plugins in any of these categories, please let me know in a comment. I mean, we're talked we have talked about complete drum kits, bass drums, deep drums, timpanis, and now mid mid percussion, mid range percussion. Let's go over to toms. So here I have I love toms for fills and transitions. They are amazing for that. They can also be part of the main groove, of course. But here we have uh, the to studio toms play with mallet from, uh, let's see, uh, damage one is this. So you can have that that goes from the higher tom to the lower. Super super common cliche even in cl classic rock and stuff, but uh, actually very useful as a fill or transition also in orchestral cinematic music. Okay, so that one is from Damage 1. I also have Damage uh, 1 from Damage 2. Let's see. It's called Tom Barrett. And you have, I mean, the complete range here. Let me just check if I get... The mapping of the light guide is not as good on uh, Damage 2 for some reason. Then I get the same light here. Anyway. This is more big range, like hyped, as you can hear. It goes from all the way down there, which is, I mean, it's, it's not even a tom anymore. It's a massive mega tom. Uh, Thomas, Lodi stock tag are not good enough. Uh, I, as far as instruments, the stock instruments in Logic, uh, rarely works for me but it i mean the the effects like the compressors and eqs are amazing i practically use them still even if uh, i have composed music for 20 years i still use the stock ones very often but for other sounds i mean it depends on what your ambition level is for your music i guess but many of the libraries like the Orchest especially the orchestral stuff is mm, not that good in, in the stock sounds. Good morning from Spain, says Daniel. Well, good good morning to you. It's uh, Is it morning in Spain? It's I thought we were kind of at the same time zone, Daniel. Uh, Sweden and Spain. Prob I'm on Central European time. Um, it's 12.40. Uh, here now, if you use, I have never gotten used to that AM PM time thing. In Sweden, we don't use that. We n in, no one does. We have, it's, you know, uh, it's so much easier when when you have the twenty four hour clock. I get so confused. Eleven forty here. Well, I guess you 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 uh, you slept well then because eleven forty uh, is pretty late for morning, at least for me. <laughs> Okay, so the next one here is um, the toms from Orchestral Percussion SDX. This uh, I actually love. Problem here is you always need to check the MIDI mappings. Like, where is it mapped? Tom starts on key 41. Couldn't they just label this? Key 41, where, where is that? Here. So we have... Okay. Uh, Canary Islands. Okay. Uh, I know that is somewhere outside of Spain. I actually, I'm not that good at geography. I'm hardly good at getting outside of my studio at all ever. So I'm like, I I was trapped inside here even before the COVID situation happened. Let's. That's what it is to be an introverted studio music caveman basically then we get into the snares where i actually like this one very much the snare from uh, true strike is super super nice because the, the the nice thing about the updated interface by the way is you can see i don't know if you can see this if it's too small it's standard hits here if i take the next key here you have a roll and you can uh, ride the dynamics of the roll with your mod wheel. 
and then I can like time the roll with a hit. So. Uh, you also have phrases. I, 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 I hardly use phrases in anything. I'd like to, you know, play my own. I can use roles and stuff like that, but not pre program phrases. But uh, you have this role. What's the difference between the tremolo roll and the roll? Oh, I see. So they included uh, the roll. Uh, with adaptive sync, so you can actually sync it to a downbeat, or for example, let's see, what do we have more? Yeah, number of beats. Oh man, that's so good. So you can now just hold this one. Oops, sorry about that. And, and it syncs uh, to the downbeat. They also have flams. So you can, let's see, where are we? So you can have uh, standard hits. And then add that little flam, which is like a short machine gun type, you know, when you hit the drum very quickly from the first drum stick to, and the next comes just after, that's called the flam. And they have stick hits and rim hits. So this snare drum is amazing. My favorite for orchestral uh, snare drums, the True Strike one. Then we get to the snare in damage one and two. Okay, Le Spanish love late mornings. Me too. Used to study and work in Spain. Miss it. Oh, yeah. I actually started. I don't know why uh, th this happened. So I had uh, I began to develop like problems sleeping about one and a half years ago, and something that I needed to do and that I've got used to now is going up at six o'clock, so six a.m. every morning, every single morning, unless I'm sick or like. I didn't do it for New Year's Day, but I go up at six o'clock um, and I don't snooze. I just, it, the, the alarm w went off and then I'm up from bed. So that's, I guess, is a positive thing from my sleeping problems. I can get up. I mean, uh, so now with the damage here, at least this one, the studio snares, you get more of a, more push towards that rock snare sound, so not the orchestral. And they have, I think, I believe they have vari variations. Where, where did I push up the? I'm getting confused. I have you. Is this a complete control? Where is the piano? So you can see the mappings in complete control. Anyone use the complete control? Who knows this interface? Plus, you get access to if they have snapshots. Is it this? No. Don't they include that mapping window in complete control? Ah, uh, anyway, that's the uh, damage one. So more of a rock hybrid, kind of hyped snare still. Then you get to the uh, damage two, where I have a, where I have different uh, snares. You have low, low snare drum, more deeper sound. As you can hear, very beefy. You get various phrases on it, which I rarely use, but then you have a mid, uh, so this is solo snare, and a high snare. But if I want to, I believe they have, let's see, where are the snares? Snares, where are you? Snare, um, organic solo snare, solo snares i thought they had ensemble snares as well i might have been mistaken there uh otherwise it's it's so much greater to to browse you know, with the contact snapshots so every developer who add snapshot or even better the the best way is what uh, true strike does this is what i want this is what we want as composers I don't want to browse this contact interface and go to the files and, you know, down there with that uh, uh, folder structure. Use a library inside the interface like this. So you can search in folders and stuff like that. The next be best thing, oops, let's turn that off, is, as I said, if you have contact snapshots. 
So then you can still have the, you know, the folders and the, the presets here. Uh, let's see, Thomas got up to 2 a.m. Slept the whole afternoon and evening. Well, I used to be like that. Like I had no time consistency of my sleep and waking at all. But uh, I, I, I would say that it is a good thing to have that consistency because uh, it like if you have consistency with your sleeping schedule, it will what what do you say? Uh, it will spread to other aspects of your life because you become more rigid and disciplined with the time of sleep and waking hours. Uh, at least for me, it has happened. Th so I'm more consistent with, you know, daily exercise, when I eat, stuff like that. And overall, I, I would say that makes me feel better and make me more healthy. Okay, let's turn off that. That was damage to snare. Then we get to this uh, this one I really like. Probably my second favorite natural orchestral snare drum, uh, which is Orchestral Percussion SDX. And here we can also shift up and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different snare drums. But again, as always, unless you use the complete control standard, you have to check the MIDI mappings. So here we have a sn snare zone trigger edge hit here. So let's see, where are we? So here we have an edge hit. Here we get the center hit. Very strange mapping, to be honest, with this here. So we have. So I love the sound, but I, I have to be honest. Uh, unless I can play it very uh, easily and find the sound and mappings really quick, uh, it's hard for me to use because you have to fight against the library. This is. Especially with percussion libraries and, you know, sample triggers, hits, libraries, and so on. It's such a mess to have to search for the sounds uh, all the time. Anyway, it sounds great still, so... If you want to check that out. And finally, the snare drum in um, BBC Symphony Orchestra. Let's load that up. Oh, it was fast. Let's see. You have the untuned percussion, snare 1 and snare 2. Where are you? Again, and I don't, I don't believe they have even a. Ma uh, well, is this the mapping window? No, you can see here, C C three. Okay, so they have a short, short roll there, and a crescendo roll. Uh, trying to get back into the. Good groove. Uh, yeah, so one thing I promised myself this year is I'm gonna also um, focus more on my health. Uh, by the way, let's, let's, let's quickly shift. Goals, plans and dreams for 2022. Please share what your goals are for your music, career, business, health, anything. Uh, one thing I'm going to do, and I, I want to share this with you, is I'm going to push a lot on Instagram. I haven't used Instagram in four years. So please uh, go to that Instagram account, my profile there, and um, follow me there, because I'm doing lots of behind the scenes stuff, vlog stuff, fun stuff, any, you know, short form content. So that is one uh, goal. Let's get back to logic again. Another one for my health is actually doing strength training. I started two days ago, and I bought a chin-up bar or pull-up bar, um, and I can hardly push out my arms because these muscles around the elbow on both on both sides. I don't even know what the muscles are. Uh, this is the biceps. That's the only muscle I know. There, there's lots of small muscles there, I guess. Uh, it hurts so much when I try to push out because I, I assume they have, you know, pull together because um, I know inflammations, you know, uh, aching after that first strength exercise in like two years. I've been good with daily walks that I have done for three years. Every day, 30 minute fast walk. And I mean fast. 
But strength, oh man, I need to get back on that because sitting in the studio all day, your back will hurt. At least it does for me. Hello, Kalux. Where are you from? And what are your goals, plans and dreams for 2022? Please, please share it. It's, it's good to share your goals because it makes them more real, in my opinion. Let's see. Uh, that was the snare drums. Uh, why didn't I include... Yeah, so actually, I didn't include any standard acoustic drum kit snares because I feel that, for the most part, if I want to add like an acoustic sound, I just add an acoustic drum plugin like Addictive Drums, Superior Drummers, and so on. The next one is, uh, I don't use it so much, but a gong. Uh, so we have three different gongs. Let's just compare them like so, all of them. Load up. So I have True Strike. So True Strike is becoming my favorite uh, go to percussion library for natural orchestral percussion. It still sounds good, even though it's old. It's updated one month ago, and this new interface and workflow is so amazing. I mean, just, just look at this. So we have standard hit. We have the tremolo here. Mod wheel. We have the roll to ring uh, here. Let's see. Which you can sync to the downbeat. Roll to damp and some effects. I mean... Basically everything you need. Uh, you might not use tam tams. I I I combine tam tams and gongs. Mm, same thing for me. It's not, but well, similar enough. Um, so here I have the gong from uh, and tam. So the, this is how, how they look. This is a tam tam, 36 inch, and this is a gong. Okay, so they are. Very different in sound, but I place them at the same. It's like a big bell type sound for me. Well, so I put I place them in the same subgroup anyway. I can hear now that the tam tam is basically like a gigantic cymbal crash, while the gong is more mellow. But I don't care. I put them in the same. This one is probably my favorite for the sound uh, quality. The orchestral percussion SDX in Superior Drama Three. Highly, highly recommend this if you, if you want to complete, natural sounding, super high quality, low noise uh, orchestral percussion kit. It includes every main aspect of the orchestral, orchestral percussion part. And finally, uh, BBC Symphony Orchestra. Where are you? Again. Here. And that, well, what is this? I, I needed to check. Single with the ringing damped. Okay, so I just want a straight hit. It's mapped to... There, E3. Uh, to be honest, this was pretty meh. I might not even... I, I, I think I will remove it. It's gone. It's... You're not allowed in my master template. Uh, wait, why are these? Another thing uh, that I'm going to do is always color my instruments in the specific domain or region. So as you can see here, I have the gongs. Let's see, I want to color them like so. So this is another bonus tip. So as you can see, I have the drum kits in this you know, light purple. Bass drum, deep drums and timpani, since they are lowest range, I have this dark blue. The mid range... Uh, drums I have in medium blue and all the light or shimmery type or high range percussion I have in uh, light blue. Sitting tennis and static practicing. Yeah, uh, are you referring to like why your back hurts and such? Uh, because I agree, I mean, oh, I should probably move more. But this chair, which is like the, the common IKEA office chair has been the best one I had in my life and I went through like 10 different chairs. Daniel already reached a goal, new contract with a VR game studio, 2022 starts good. Oh, congrats! Uh, VR games, well, can, can you can you give any more details or are you like uh, non-disclosure? I would love to hear if you can share anything more about that because, wow, that's amazing. So that's the gongs. Did I close them all? I think so. 
No, why are you? Let's see. I need to left click and alt click. Damn it! Ah! Slowly crashed. Reopen. Uh, why didn't it reopen? Why didn't it reopen? So I actually experienced this on my new Mac. Um, Slowly never crashed on my old Mac. Never. But since I got my new Mac, I assume because it's like it's not up to date with the M1, uh, the new Apple Silicon uh, chip and compatibility. Um, sadly, I'm actually going to quit and then relaunch it from here instead. My drive music templates. Let's see if it. I hope it will do the auto save here. Auto saved. Let's see where we were. Gogs. Yeah, so I managed to remove that one. Uh, I hate it when that happens. I mean, complete crashes like that are the worst. I used to have them a lot back in the day when I used Cubase on PC. I never had one, uh, I, probably one or two in seven years on my old iMac up there. It's up, yeah, so I still have that left. Even if I have my new MacBook Pro now. So that is gongs. N then I have a category folder in my percussion template called sticks, which is basically all types of clicks, sticks, and you know, this ticky tacky type of sounds, as I call them. Here's my favorite, another unappreciated library. No one talks about this. It's amazing. One of my favorite sample library developers, Stress of Sampling again. Uh, not sponsored or anything. I just love them. Have this library called uh, Lightning X3M. Let's see where I have loaded here. So I, I have it on Zone 7, which is here. Okay, so you can see clocks, shakers, ethnic shakers, buttons, and knobs. Wooden, so here I loaded wooden sticks. Just this is amazing for background uh, energy, high end energy. I mean, even if you listen to Hans Zimmer's modern scores, lots of these ticky clicky types of pulses used. Even clocks, actually. If you just have a, a clock, small clock, and then... Imagine this, and then you add an ostinato string. It's so stressful, it adds so much tension. So that's a bonus tip again. Uh, add some sticks and clicks and ticky tacky sounds. That's Lightning Extreme, my favorite for this. Then Action Strikes actually have a good range of... Um, so various types of shakers are good. They have a category here in the high section called Tiki Taka. I have no idea what it is, if it's actually an instrument or something, but I mean, you can hear. And then I just can play these two keys. So... Uh, too much reverb. Okay, so that is uh, Tiki Takas from Action Strikes. And finally, I actually have some sticks. Uh, I'm using Damage One, the old Armageddon Ensemble patch. So th it's this is not stick it. But uh, I don't know if I can remove those. The only thing I want is the high sticks up here in the higher ranges to the right side of the keyboard because I, I think these sound lovely. Stick hits, amazing for that. Why are you not light blue? They are trying to cheat here. Every track should be categorized with colors. Daniel, uh, I'm focused on virtual reality game music, effects and ambience. This game will be focused on a horror sci-fi adventure shooter. Oh, cool. Virtual reality game music. I'm thinking. What's the difference? Well, is, is there any like difference technically or musically with virtual reality game music compared to traditional game music? Because I have never, I don't think I have even played of no VR game, no, especially not heard any music. What did I do there? Oh, I opened everything. Okay, so that sticks. Then we get into the shimmer category. What's shimmer? Basically, not symbols, 
technically they are shimmery in my opinion, but I want to have like triangles, high metallic sounds and stuff. So here I have the S orchestral percussion SDX again because they have a whole range of these high range, you know, shakers and maracas and all, you know all these types of stuff. That's what I I label as shimmer percussion. Great to fill up that high range. Shimmer from Damage 1 because they have a metal menu. So do they have this? Lots of these metallic type of sounds which don't have too much low end to them. And finally I have True Strike. Once again because their interface is lovely, sound quality is excellent and they have a whole range of high shimmery sounding uh, presets. Triangle for example. And again, they have standard hits, but they also have tremolo, which you can ride with mod wheel. That almost sounds like an old telephone signal. <laughs> they have the roll. Where are you there? Okay. And this you can sync with adaptive sync to beats, downbeat. Okay. So it can sync to your production. Amazing. Um, let's see. Okay, and the final category is symbols. First one, uh, because it has a really good range of symbols. You can see this is the orchestral percussion SDX again. One, two, three. Uh, three uh, uh, standard symbols and two, uh, I think this is called Piatti. Uh, where you hold two symbols and crash them together, which, which is common in or, in uh, orchestral music. More attack and less sustain, or faster. At least you get more contrast between the the attack part and the sustain with the piatti. So that is excellent for orchestral symbols. Uh, True Strike, of course, need to have this in this category as well. So here I have the Suspended Symbol 1. Just let's check the library. You have two Suspended Symbols. I think they have Piatti as well. Yep, two Piatti. So I can easily just change those out as well. I mean, you, you can already hear. And they, they have... This is so amazing about the True Strike. You have the Soft Stick. Hard stick, tremolo, roll to ring and roll to damp, and sizzle. I don't even know what that is. Okay, let's compare that to the roll. Okay, so the. Ah, yeah, so this is time to the beat. Uh, and this is actually cool. If you, if you use the adaptive sync to, let's say, the down beat. It will sync, so it will end at the downbeat, but how uh, uh, much it will crescendo is um, roll is depending on the velocity. So if I hit it very lightly, you get that roll, but it's very low in dynamics. If I hit it hard, you get more uh, bigger sounding roll, roll. And the difference between Soft sticks and hard sticks. As you may hear more of the stick here and the accent. And then I really like that they have both. So that is symbols in True Strike. Damage uh, one. Let's just check. Original monster. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know how much longer, but you can of course watch the replay. Let's see. Uh, I'm. Well, let's see. I'm CEO, CEO Ban from the UK. CEO, uh, is that? Oh, you, you are, your, your name is CEO Ban? Uh, I'm helping up with the audio at the Commonwealth Games later in the year. So that is going well. Uh, one of my goals developing my ear is another. Great! That means you are on a roll now, I guess, um, with your music composer career. Daniel, yep, it's complete immersive, like being part of a movie. I heard about like uh, virtual reality, you know, background music, like bands even playing live in a bar 
of a virtual reality game. So it's like the new the new live music, basically. I never really went into the, that industry myself, but it sounds like a really cool future. Damage 2, of course. Did I show you Damage 1? No, I did not. So Damage 1 uh, has a patch called... Let's see. Lord, please. Oh, I didn't turn on the follow button. So here we have Symbols Menu Studio. Let's just see the mapping. It's mapped. Lots of different symbols, or rides, crashes, everything mapped out here. A bit hard to find what you're after, in my opinion. But uh, great quality sounds. And then damage two, you have the symbol and gongs patch, which has everything from piatti to even gongs. It's even called, you know, symbols and gongs. So you can see here, if I hit here, this is good. You can see what preset or sound is triggered. So solo piatti is 20 inch and 18 inch on C2 and C sharp 2. So all of these, but not the mapping window, which I would have preferred to have. Uh, so, I mean, why couldn't all developers just put all the mappings of all uh, sounds like in the interface directly? Because how am I supposed to know all of this myself when I start to use it? I need to just take... Okay, so it's solo piatti. Next time I start up a new product and... I need to, you know, relearn because there's no way you can remember that. Everything. That's something they should improve. Okay, so that is my entire massive percussion templates, which is the starting point of my new 2022 master DAW template. I'm using Logic, but I mean, you can use whatever DAW you prefer. It's the same concept to have, you know, everything you need. I'm also going to be, uh, build a massive instrument template in Logic because you can have your own um, instruments here in user patches. That comes for later. Right now, I'm pr focusing on the all the instrument, all my favorite instruments in the percussion are ready now. The next one I'm going to I've started this. I'm going to do uh, for the next stream. Whoops. Let's see where. Let's kick. Start. Yeah, we have the right title. Is the FX group. So percussion is I think ready now. If you have any more suggestions, it, let, let me recap. Drum kits is my first folder. All these different drum, drum kits, RMX, Superior Drummer, Percussion SDX, Damage 2, and so on. All the, my favorite bass drums, deep drums, all my favorite timpanis. I only have two for now, but anyway. All my favorite mid percussion. Here goes the bongos, the djembes, the ethnic hand percussion, and so on. Uh, toms, snares, gongs, and tamtams, sticks, uh, and clicks and tiki takas, shimmery sounds like metallic percussion, triangles and so on, and cymbals, uh, which can be anything from piatis to ride cymbals to crash cymbals, basically. Next stream, I will continue working on the effects instruments. So right now I have, this is just placeholders, I have three categories. Why do I have this here? Q Samper. Q Samper? Uh, okay, so yeah, I have an empty uh, sampler instrument there, but I have booms, which are sub booms, impacts, which are more explosion, destruction, you know, these trailer type hits, and punches, which are basically, if you think of stomps, foot stomps, and claps, all those short um, and close up sounds, which are great for adding definition on top of your standard percussion. Uh, uh, group and mix. So that is what I will work on next time. I uh, really enjoyed this stream and this is my second stream ever on my new setup. I don't think we ran into any issues so I hope I solved the technical things with you know the uh, USB, the routing and everything. Um, I will, if you notice anything that did not work properly uh, for you on your end, you can add it in a comment. I haven't seen any error messages. So hopefully I will be doing lots of these live streams. I will even be composing live this year. You know, sound design, doing lots of behind the scenes content. 
But the first thing I want to do, I need to do, is this master 2022 DAW template. So that's it. Uh, cheers if you have some coffee or tea left, and I'll see you guys next time. I just need to find where I end this stream now. I think it's over there.